the you. Good morning, salute, and what the business is. My name is Dig, and I came to rock real big. 3.11 is right around the corner for everybody, and with great power comes great patch notes. But patch notes are really long and really dry reading. Reading is for suckers, and fund managers shorten housing markets with credit swaps. What? So grab some freshly squeezed fizzy drink, put the chair on recline, and vibe with your boy for a minute. Like up, sub up, and ring up like a bizos. Front end refactor. Logging in has never looked so pretty. Modularity is the name of the game, and even more screen real estate means we'll see more of the background images once they start changing them out more often. The clear out notifications button will be handy dandy. The drop down menus have a clean look, and it'll be a nice touch to have the matching pics of where you're spawning at. Character creator head improvements. They've replaced all the heads except one, otherwise, it's the same. New space station layouts. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but the new rest stop layouts are very cool and very functional. Much easier to find your way around and get where you're going. Cargo decks. First off, adjust your expectations. They're not functional yet, but the work they put into them really shows. Sonically, it's the most immersive place in the game. Feels authentic enough to give Amazon workers a little PTSD hanging out here too long. For now, you can rent a few cargo carrying ships and make some purchases. If you're into blue collar couture, cargo decks got your back. You can see the potential though. The shapes of the space stations make more sense when you see what they have to accommodate now and down the road. Red machines. They're not in the patch notes, but these red machines have been popping up everywhere. I guess they ATMs that handcuff you when you owe more than you have in your account. Ain't paid your sprint bill, ain't going nowhere. Didn't sprint get bought out. Chirp. Also not in the notes is this notification sound every time new text pops up in chat. Haven't figured out how to turn that off. Right mouse button should cancel and close quick select wheels. Right clicking out of the pit wheel takes you to previous page and after the final one, it closes the wheel out. You can still right click on items that have sub menus. Increased max button limit for joysticks and controllers from 50 to 100. I didn't know this limit existed, but I've had a few problems binding in 3.10, so maybe this will fix it. Ship AR marker displays or ship's landing pad. Well, hallelujah. Gone are the days when you have to keep running back to the kiosk to see where your ship is at. Might seem like a small thing, but I bet you too had some episodes of getting in the elevator and forgetting what pad you're in, then guessing and ended up trying five different hangers. Don't lie. Not in the patch notes, but now the ramp up during a jump sequence is pretty much gone. You jump faster than Domino's Pizza customers after watching their door cam footage. Grey Cat Rock is now purchasable in game. I don't know what the actual pricing will be, but it will definitely take off once it goes live. Repainting existing planets and moons and updating ground texture and geology. I'm throwing these all together because I don't like getting too techy specky. The end result is that the surfaces look insane, man. They've been incrementally improving this area so you don't get the OMG WTF that you'd get if you jumped in it from the old school look to the new, but it's still like, whoa. The rock textures look so much better. The paint tools got everything beautifully laid out in a way that feels a lot more natural. And best of all, you can actually drive without running into rocks every two seconds. That alone is something to get excited about. Bring on the Tumru Rangers. Hurston material variant. Crisp new look for the outposts on Hurston. Not in the notes, but interdictions are back. Sometimes the interdiction lands you in a debris field from a blown up ship. Be careful, because pirates are lurking. Also, the space cops are back to their annoying self. They'll pull you over when you're landing. They don't give a damn. Ground cover buoyancy. In a pursuit of making oceans look more ocean-like, Siggy Sig Sig has added some floating debris that moves with the waves. Bear BR2 Shotty is a new FPS weapon to click clack with. It's got a nice little drum mag, but it's not automatic, so... Huh. Bear Grenade Launcher. You can assault enemies like the Expendables with this joint. Splash damage is short though, so if the explosion is more than a meter from the target, it's not going down. Green Zone Removal. A lot of stuff going on here. You can now fire your ship weapons in the armistice zones, but there's consequences and repercussions, so choose your battles wisely. The legal system is in place, so if you fire on somebody, you'll lose armistice privileges and get some heat on you. Security will show up and increase in numbers and powerful ships the more crime goes down at the station. Then you got size 4 turrets on the pad, size 6 just outside, and big size 10 leviathans on the perimeter. 
These are no joke. The barrels are bigger than a 300 series ship. One of them took out my Vanguard in two shots. So don't let yourself get attached to anything you are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. I couldn't get an example of these next two, but there's an arrest timer so that if you have a bounty and die, a bounty hunter or NPC has to have engaged you before the timer runs out in order for you to go to prison. Also, if somebody kills or harms you when you don't have a bounty, you get the option to press charges or to forgive them. Keeps people from gaining crime stats for accidents. If a party member harms you, it defaults to forgive, and it defaults to press charges if a non-party member harms you. Missile Selection you can select which missiles you want to fire. Make sure to bind a key to change the missile type and it'll display on your ship's HUD. If someone fires a missile at you, you'll get a timer in the form of a meter that lets you know when it'll impact. Countermeasures. Countermeasures have been reworked. They changed the names to Noise and Decoy, but ended up changing them back. They're apparently a lot more effective and visually are looking pretty dope. You can view your countermeasures on your hood now. Poetry snaps, CIG. Prison Commissary Vending Machine Update. Use merits for purchases. Also, I'm not sure that prison missions actually made it into 310, but if not, they're working now. You can spend time sprint bouncing off the ground looking for oxygen machines you've been assigned to repair. Gives a little variety to prison play. Also, new escape routes have been added for all you El Chapos up in the clink. Player in external inventory. Inventory has been changed with a nice new UI and utilizes leg space as well as vehicle inventory to maximize your storage capacity. Move items around from one place to another or just dump it all on the floor, Senor Trust Fund baby. Tier 1 throwing. Throw overhand or underhand for a little live grenade hot potato action. Force reactions. Experience the joys of physics on your body as you try to keep your balance during ship maneuvers, shotgun blasts, or collisions. The overall experience of PTU 311 is mostly good. The addition of the landing pad showing under your ship icon, huge quality of life update for your boy and I imagine you'll dig it too. Frame rates have been all over the place. Depending on what I was doing, I was getting between 20 and 45 frames a second with dips as low as 11. It's been pretty crashy, mostly on launch, but once you actually get in, it's relatively stable. I noticed you can sit in seats more relaxed now. Kinda. It's a small thing, but it'd be nice to have different seated positions, like to blend in with the NPCs a little bit more. It's getting more difficult to use a controller for simple things like choosing an elevator floor. Interacting with the building blocks versions of things just ain't possible with a controller right now. So I'm hoping they give it a little love. If you see me on the Salty Mike show, you know that I like playing with the controller in my left hand and the mouse in the right. Hey, that's just me. I like to do my thing. So can we get some controller love, cuz? Oh, and how long has this been a thing? You can spawn ships on outposts. Bug or feature? Thanks to my man Kurai for help with this joint. Good looking out, doctor. Shout out and special thanks to the executive bosses for keeping the lights on over here. Odin, AKA Deus El Morte. Gino Garon, not to be confused with Garcon. Hold on, the claim jumper whisperer. Mike Alvira, mysterious as ever, man. Saucy one, the flousy one, inspiring your boy to pick up some weights. Slick Dick Dansley, <laughs> that name, man, forever legendary. Commander, if, if a blackout, spinning records and wheels in my favorite place to be. Shot and King, Wing Commander Extraordinaire. Phantasm, AKA I play everything, boss. And JP Stravinsky, AKA Digital Wine. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big love, execs. Hey, you're super appreciated. Big Seven Up salute and shout out to all the fans supporting the Dig That and the Space Sam Marks. Salute to the Mother Boy, Buster Boy, Guillotine Girl, SM, Generalissimo, Commander Dr. Digital, Space Pirate McMorgan, Zayla Maru, Commander Leviathan Soul, Time Out 4, 20, 20, Twin, Train Man Rob, Epion Next, Dead Eye, Dao, Buster Psycho, Figment, Evil Weasel. <laughs> Titan Prime, Crash Test, Zed, Grilled Mito, Eyes Open 2018, and Cool Breeze. Big thanks, fam, Beano's rocking with your boy. And shout out to everybody subbed up like a bizos. My name is Dig That, and I just got a brand new desk, so I have to get some brand new desk flare. Fly Dirty Citizens.